Hi, my name is Shannon Lynch. I'm doing my research paper on why women are reluctant to get mammograms. This is important because women are reluctant to do something that is really supposed to save their lives. So first I'll give some facts about breast cancer and, and mammography. Breast cancer is the leading cancer causing death among women. It kills about 40,000 women in, in the United States every year. Even knowing this, women are reluctant to get mammograms for many reasons. The main reason being that they distrust the accuracy of certain statistics dealing with the results of mammograms. Mammograms are the best way to detect breast cancer, although they are definitely not perfect. An estimated 28 million women have mammograms annually. 15% of breast cancer will go undetected, while 85% will be detected. On average, 20 to 40% of cancer is missed in the first screening. Even though it is always better to be safe than sorry, women do not like the anticipation and anxiety that comes with getting the results of mammograms. This is especially true if the radiologist that reads the mammogram suspects that there might be something wrong. 4 to 10% of women's mammogram results are found to contain some kind of abnormality. These findings can lead to anything from another mammogram to a biopsy, um, which will hopefully rule out any possibility of cancer. 80 to 95% of these abnormalities usually turn out to not be cancer. Although mammograms are not perfect, they still save 25% of women's lives that are in between the ages of 50 and 69. In a New York Times article, I also read about if it makes the difference for, your, for younger women to get mammograms. Breast cancer occurs in 17.5% of women under 50. It seems that mammograms can be a little harder to read with younger women because breast tissue is denser, um, which is basically the main reason why they're not sure if it makes a difference for younger women to get them or not. Uh, one study showed that 40% of the cancers did not show up in the screenings of these younger women. It also showed that 2% of women had to go back for a biopsy when they did not have cancer. So uh, again, all of this leads to um, anxiety and anticipation that was obviously not wanted by the patients. Um, many of my other sources were basically about studies that were done to test for different things relating to radiologists reading the mammograms and what affects the accuracy of, of those readings. One of my sources was about how interpretation time affects the accuracy of the readings of mammograms. A study was done that had 400 experienced breast imaging radiologists read and interpret mammograms. These x-rays had benign and malignant masses, as well as no masses at all. The study was conducted to determine if, to determine if interpretation time affects the accuracy of the readings. The study showed that it did affect readings. The radiologists that took longer to interpret the x-rays typically produced incorrect detection or classification of what they found. Um, another one of my sources was about how radiologists' uncertainty affects readings, which I thought was pretty interesting. 139 out of 181 radiologists completed or completed a portion of a survey that they were invited to participate in regarding how uncertainty affects readings. Males made up the majority of the study with 78%. The average uncertainty score was very high at 95%. Uncertainty scores were typically lower among women. The survey showed that radiologists that had an overall higher volume of mammogram interpretations and had more years of experience had lower levels of uncertainty. Um, another source, another one of my sources was about a study that dealt with um, if the volume of the readings done by the radiologist affects accuracy. And this study showed that reading, that the reading volume did not statistically associate with the accuracy of the readings. Instead, it showed that there were other factors that did associate with accuracy. A center or facility that used double readings as a common practice proved to have more accurately read x-rays and screenings done at specialized breast imaging centers or special mammogram radiology centers proved to be read more accurately. So those were two of the findings. Um, and about the current state of my research paper, I would like to find more information on 
statistics relating to women and exactly how much the mixed results of mammogram readings really affect their decisions about mammograms in general, because most of my sources so far are about, are about studies that are done um, to test different things about the radiologist doing the readings and what affects the accuracy of the readings. Um, I'd like to find more information on how negative or mixed things they hear about the accuracy of, of and how negative or mixed things women hear about the accuracy of mammogram readings um, influences their decision to get mammograms or to go for follow-up visits.